Yes. So the, again, commissioners, before we do the roll call vote, this is on a motion to affirm the previous actions of the commission recommending changes to streets, parks, and public spaces as listed in agenda item seven. It was moved and properly second. Uh, Andrew, would you please do the roll call vote? Yes. Uh, Commissioner Connor? Yes. Commissioner Raymond? Yes. Commissioner Westmoreland? Yes. Commissioner Hamilton? Commissioner Hamilton? Yes. Okay. Sorry, yes. Sorry. Uh, Commissioner Sturbko? No. Uh, Commissioner Jackson? Yes. Commissioner Hill? Yes. Commissioner Jones Williams? Yes. And that is uh, seven yeses, one no, and the motion is adopted. Thank you very much, Andrew. Uh, Commissioner Chen, so we have voted to recommend the renaming of uh, a total now of 35 streets, three parks, and one public space to the city council in our final report. And uh, for the record's sake, they are as follows. Beauregard Avenue to Sherwood Woody Gagliano Avenue. Beauregard Drive to Doris Jean Castle Drive. Berman Avenue to R Rudolph Desnunes Avenue. Berman Place to PBS Pinchback Place. Berman Highway to Elnora Pete Highway. Berman Park to Dr. Morris FX Jeff Sr. Park. Bragg Street to Celestine Street. Burke Avenue will be, we recommend to be combined with Burke Road and become <laughs> San Malo Avenue. Calhoun Street, we recommend Father Louis J. Toomey Street. Cap DeVille Street to Judge Ivan L. R. Lamel Street. Comus Court to Julia Aaron Humble's Court. Conrad Street to Jasper Street. Drew Avenue to Francis Joseph Godet Avenue. Forshay Street to Charles Buddy Bolden Street. General Early Drive to Dent Family Drive. General Meyer Avenue to Dr. Rudy Lombard Avenue. General Ogden Drive to Herman Midlow Drive. General, uh, General Nichols, I'm sorry, Governor Nichols to Lolas Eli, Edward Eli Street. Lane Street to George, Georgia Street. Logue Street to Charles McKenna. Robert E. Lee to Allen Toussaint Boulevard. Lee Street to Leontine Goins Luke Street. Lee Circle to Leah Chase Circle. I'm sorry, to Elegante. Uh, I'm, excuse me, it's getting late now, I'm sorry. <laughs> Lee Circle to Egalite Circle. McShane Place to Joseph Guillaume Place. Mouton Street to Margaret Elizabeth Street. Palmer Avenue to Edith Rosenwald Stern Avenue. Palmer Park to John Minor Wisdom Street Park. Patton Street to Nils R. Douglas Street. Penn Street to Dr. Sarah Mayo Street. Sem Street to Veronica Brown Hill Street. Raphael Sem Street to Dolly Adams Street. Slidell Street to Henry James Red Allen Street. Tulane Avenue to Allison Tootie Montana Avenue. Vineyard Street to Diane Mamadi French Cole Street. Washington Artillery Park to Lieutenant Governor Oscar James Dunn Artillery Park. Wilkes Lane to Dr. Louis A. Martinet Lane. And Sophie Wright Place to John Jack Nelson Place. These are, and just for the public's consumption, uh, where These names will be, if they are recommended to be changed as we recommend by the city council, uh, the city planning commission will look at them obviously and determine how they should actually be listed on the streets uh, with regard to the, the full names and um, uh, you know things of that nature. So uh, just because they are appear to be long on here, that doesn't mean that once it goes through the process, those are the, the names that will remain. Uh, as we've read them, right? 
be some variation thereof. Um, I also uh, like to uh, state that recognizing you know, this commission's charge was not to consider changes <laughs> to all streets, parks, and public spaces. We know that there are some which benefit from further consideration by the council. A short list of those suggested by the public include Jackson Square, Milne Playground, Porridger Street, Caffin Avenue, Washington Park, Little General Taylor Park, uh, and Little General Taylor Park, I'm sorry. Some of these spaces and streets require consideration for change in our, in our, our contextualization, in, in our opinion. Uh, Jackson Square represents the complexity of these considerations. Uh, we must answer hard questions like, are we better served as a society if we remove Jackson or if we tell his story in context, including his more horrific deeds? Jackson defeated the British soldiers at the Battle of New Orleans alongside slaves he enticed to fight with promises of freedom, but at the battle's end, told them to return to their plantations. Uh, we have documented history of at least one of those particular slaves. His name was suggested for another street. Free people of color also fought with him, only to return from victory still having limited rights, although more than slaves. Jackson, as president, ordered the army to ignore Supreme Court rulings in favor of the Cherokee Nation and illegally forcibly remove those natives from their land. Of the 18,000 Cherokee forced to walk from Florida, Georgia, and South Carolina to Oklahoma, approximately 4,000 of them died along the way. This, my friends, is seen by many as the best, at its best as genocide. In my opinion, it would be beneficial to name the east and west sides of Jackson Square, Bulbancha Way, out of respect for the native inhabitants of this region, even if only as honorary street names. This would allow their history to be told to locals and the almost 20 million visitors to our city each year. These facts about a U.S. president demonstrate our dilemma before practically considering contemporary fiscal concerns of annual brand value of our, to our city of Jackson Square being named Jackson Square in our tourism income. I strongly suggest that our city leaders look at these and other places and spaces clearly defining that no matter when they, they occurred, atrocities like genocide and slavery don't get to stay hidden because of nostalgia, convenience, or apathy. Uh, so are there any other discussions about agenda item seven, commissioners? Yes, sir, I have a question. Yes. Commissioner Westmore. Um, you know, we've all been at this for 10 or 12 weeks now, and generally it seems to be mostly consensus among us, but when there isn't, we should hear why. Uh, so I'm, I'm highly interested in why Commissioner Sturbkow voted no. We just uh, uh, voted on essentially the essence of what we've been doing here for 10 or 12 weeks. Months. Uh, <laughs> tell, tell, months. Tell, yeah, tell, tell us why you're voting no. You know, we're, we're commissioners here. You know, let, let's talk. Let's uh, let's have this discussion. Voted no because I disagree with some of the decisions made regarding street renaming in District A in particular. And I think I owe it to the folks that I'm representing on this commission uh, to make sure that I'm both true to myself and true to uh what they have told me uh their opinions are um uh, yeah i'm with you all of, all of the names uh, in this district which i live in are confederates right so i mean which, which confederate do they think that uh, we should keep up all of them no no no, no. look look you you you're, you're mixing up apples and oranges nobody is complaining and i did my own vetting uh about which streets need to be renamed that's not the issue. The issue is the actual new names that were chosen. And I disagree, and a lot of people who live in Lakeview disagree with certain of the names that were chosen to replace those Confederate names that absolutely have to be replaced. And that's the reason for my no vote. Fair, fair enough. But I, I don't think it's unreasonable for, for us to ask. I agree. Commissioner Sturbko, I want to thank you for that and Commissioner uh, Westmore, you as well. Um, I think 
Rich, you're, you're, we're at this inflection point, this reflection point on the work that we've done um, since the inception of this committee. Um, I just want to reflect on why it was started in the first place. It was an acknowledgement that now was the time for change. Now was the time for us to push for unity to bring about real changes in our community. And 